Hi, I'm Andre Beluzzo and I'm here in Dubai, uh, at the Palm in Dubai today. And I'm shooting uh, together with Gulf Photo Plus and Cadillac Arabia. So it's a whole storyline with uh, different setups, a guy and a girl. Hang with me, it's a total of eight shots, so uh, hold tight. Are we going to shoot together? <laughs> yeah, they're going to take a picture now. <laughs> Wonderful, that's really gorgeous. I'm trying to overpower the sun, so give a lot of power on the subject. Uh, so the models and the car, in order to get that sky really dense and uh, dark, to give a little bit of more fashion drama into it. We have two lights on this one. We have a 1x6 RFI strip softbox, and those are used throughout the shoot for the car. They're perfect for giving these nice highlights on cars, as you know. And then my main light on the model is made with a magnum, and the magnum has got this really nice hammered interior, and that acts like thousands of little mirrors that together work and push the light even more, make it crispier and harder, and uh, giving me more output from my Pro B4s that I was using. Beautiful. That should be okay. I know you're newlyweds, but more fashion, more attitude. Nice, nice attitude. Good, 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 good. Good. Lovely, beautiful. Yeah, 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 yeah. Lovely. A guy and a girl and two different lights on each of them. So first of all, I have the girl lit up with a soft light reflector silver, which is also known as a beauty dish. I had it here with a grid to get more contrast and uh, a narrower light spread so it wouldn't spill on the rest of the scene. Then on the guy, I had uh, started with a magnum as on the first picture, but I then changed to something even harder. I turned to a hard box, which I will explain to you in just a second. That's the important thing for you. Your light is coming from there. Okay. So now I'm going to show you my absolute favorite hard reflector. And it's done with a hard box. The hard box is simply a black box to absorb all the light. Sounds strange, but it's not. If you think about it, soft boxes that are very large light sources that produce a soft light, then tiny little light sources are very, very hard and punchy. The way that it works is this, that normally when you have your flash, uh, it's facing your subject this way. I want that flash tube to become even smaller. So what do we do? We simply turn it this way, and turning it this way, you'll see that the size of the flash tube has shrunk from that size to that size. So all of a sudden, I have the light that is coming just from that tiny little light source, and the rest of it is being absorbed by the hard box. So basically, you mount your hard box on your flash head this way. There is no zoom function and you lock it. And you can also use it with barn doors to limit your light spread. And also you fit same grids as on a zoom reflector to obtain even more contrast and even more restricted light spread. Good, good, good. Very, very good, very good. Yeah, keep going. That's good. Lovely. Here I've really been playing with light, with different exposures. The main shot, basically, which is the girl looking in the mirror, has been lit with a 2x3 RFI softbox to give me this nice light, nice soft light on her face and on the hands and on the side of the face here as well. And then I had the sunroof of the car open and there I put a 1x6 RFI strip softbox to give me some very nice natural feeling highlights on the lipstick, on the mirror, on the hand and things like that, just to get that natural uh, touch to it. Like, you know, this kind of thing. Okay, so you're, you're on your way. this particular shot, I started with the Magnum and I felt it was not hard enough, so there I went on the hard box again. You see this really, really sharp shadows here? That's typical hard box lighting. 
and then of course on the car again a 1x6 RFI strip softbox right on the top of the car with a boom stand and uh, that's about it. So as you know, there's more pictures in this series, so go onto the prophoto.com blog on my series, The Light Shaper, and then you will see every single shot and see exactly how I've lit them. So until then, take care.